Welcome to the How Bulldogs Senior Spotlight. Brought to you by Ed Meacham State Farm. Now let's join Monty Walker with this week's Senior. Welcome to the Senior Spotlight. This week we're featuring J.C. Helpenstell and Arturo Louder. Uh, J.C., we'll start with you. The lone holdover from the Zach Hudson era. How long ago does that feel like? Oh, it feels like forever ago now with Coach Jay being here. I mean, we're just so used to all the work he's taught us and everything he's shown us, and it's just seems like it's been forever since then. Uh, how have you improved since that? Uh, since your first varsity year as a sophomore? Oh, I think um, I improved a lot just in that sophomore season, especially just first time being on varsity from start of the season to the end of the season. You can see how I, can, I improved, and everyone on this team has improved throughout the years. So I think it's just been improvement all the way around. After last year, you now understand the importance of senior leadership. Uh, how do you make sure this team does things maybe a little bit different th- differently than last year? Um, I think we just have to keep the energy up all the time. Like when we're out here in practice, just keeping guys focused when game day comes because a lot of these guys haven't played varsity football or haven't played football at all in several years, so they don't know exactly what to do and what not to do. So uh, all the seniors just got to hop on them, keep them focused, and make sure they're doing stuff right. What are some other things you're involved with here at How High? Um, I'm involved in track, and I might play basketball this year. I'm not sure. Uh, I could get cut, so I'm not sure yet. But um, I'm just going to stay involved in track and just keep working out, keep working hard. When's the last time you played basketball? Uh, Eighth grade year. All right, well, let's, (laughs) let's do it. Hey, um, now the uh, the defense has been allowing a ton of yards. Uh, over 403 straight games going back to last year. How do you stop that trend? Um, I think it's just keeping all the guys focused, making sure that everyone knows what to do from top to bottom throughout the whole depth chart. You know, we got to make sure our backups know what to do. We got to make sure third strings know what to do because we have a small team and we just got to keep everyone on the same page. Got a homecoming date? No, I don't. <laughs> Who's going to be the homecoming queen? Um... I'd say Molly. Molly Wilson? Yes, sir. All right, we're going to take a quick time out. We'll be right back. This is more than a bundle. This is way more than a combo deal. It's your sanctuary, your home field. It's where everything happens. This is your home, your car, your memories. And you want to be sure they're protected with home and auto insurance. As your State Farm agent, I get it. That's why I'm here, here to help life go right. My name is Ed Meacham, and I'm your Howe State Farm agent. Give me a call at 903-892-3923 or on the web at mrredinsurance.com. All right, now let's turn it over to Arturo Louder. Uh, is homecoming a distraction for a football team? Um, I don't think so. I think it kind of gets up the hype, builds up the hype for the football team because homecoming is better when you win. So we're just looking for a win. Yep. You got a homecoming date? Uh, yes, sir, Hannah Dwyer. And who do you think is going to win homecoming queen? Um, I'm not going to pick one. I just All the girls are beautiful. I'll just say that. Wow. All right. Stepping out on a limb there. All right. You're a receiver now instead of a running back or a slot back. You like that? Uh, yeah. I, yes, yeah, sir. Um, I guess sometimes I kind of, I kind of wish I was running the ball, but I know I'm helping the team out playing receiver and it's a lot more fun than I thought it, it would be. So it's a, it's fun. Yeah. How much of an adjustment is it moving from a all run offense to, to throwing the football? Um, it's, it was a big change for us. We, um, we didn't know what to expect, but we, we like the new offense, and w- now we think it's better than the slot T stuff. But we still have Coach West, but we think it's better. <laughs> Defensively, you're playing the, the joker position. Is that a transition for you going from that? You've been a safety most all the time. Talk about that transition. Um, I mean, it's not, it's not really a transition. It's basically the same thing, just playing in a different spot. But the tr- transition was not that hard, honestly. It was, it was pretty easy. What other things are you involved with here at How High? Um, I play... I play football, uh, baseball, I run track, and I'm in FFA classes, so I guess I'm a FFA member, if that counts. Yeah. Are you gonna? Are you also going to try uh, your hand at basketball this year? I've thought about it, but I'm not really sure. Basketball is not my thing, but we'll find out after football season ends. What's the biggest difference between this year and last year? Um, leadership. La- last year, we didn't really have that. Like this game against Ponder, Coach Shea told us this, and I believe it, that we were down, how, what was, how many, tw- uh, 14? We were down quite a few. And last year, everyone on the team would have given up. 
uh, with the senior leadership. And, but this year, you know, uh, the seniors here, we like brought everybody up and we believed that we could win and we fought hard the second half. Keep that attitude. Great stuff. We'll be right back right after this. <laughs>